Welcome back, everybody. Sorry, it's been a minute. The holidays are here. <clears throat> Christmas is over here in the Philippines. So that was yesterday. Now in the States, Merry Christmas to you guys. I'm um, bringing another review out for you. In this review, I'm going to drop down and show you a tank that was released just not too long ago. Okay. Um, during this, um, we'll be going over the tank, all the components on the tank real quick, um, and give you my views and thoughts of the tank. Okay. Um, it comes from a company called Adamazoo. Okay. Very famous, known for the vape shell for the billet box okay um, I have actually one loaded somewhere nope it's right here in my other billet box so um, very well known product company very well done so there it is the vape shell by Adamazoo is inside of my rat box inside my Dober I have a different bridge inside Unfortunately, I'm not going to reveal what I've got inside because of our current ban and something I don't support, but I needed something. So, today's video is mainly going to be focused on the Animazoo Tripod RDA. No, RTA. Sorry. Um... And what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it down. I'm going to bring it down, and you can see the fans on. Um, our logo is in the back. <clears throat> Got that up and running. Um, tell you my views and thoughts about it um, and my honest opinions. So without further ado, let's take it. Let's bring it down. Again, I'm Joshua Ozzy. With the International Vapors Lounge, I am the International Vapor, the originator of the group. So, with that, we got some good stuff going on. Um, I don't know what to say other than, you know, I'll bring it down and we'll go from there. So, I'll see you down low. All right, so here we go. Adamazoo by Adamazon. All right, the Tripod RDA. So inside the package on the side, you're going to go and get your color configuration, which is stainless steel matte is what I guess this is standing for. Your serial number, 1879. The production date, let's see if you can see that. There you go. Production date. Let's zoom that in a little bit. We're, we're all the way zoomed in, so let's bring it up. Uh, let's see here, 9 15 2019. So, fairly new. Okay, this is only a couple months old. And I have not used it. Contents of the package. Okay. Social media. And their information. Alright. So, inside the package. All right, let's see if we can bring this up a little bit. There we go. Make it a little bit easier on us. Um... There we go. Now we're cooking with Crisco. All right. So, the Adamazoo by Adamazone Tripod RDA. RTA. Jesus. So, inside the package, you're going to get this nice presentation case. Okay. I am not going to lie to you. Very well presented. Very well presentable overall. Open up the case. You're going to get your standard warranty card. Okay, and in this warranty card, it just tells you everything that's on the outside of the package, sign, has their stamped seal, which is like a notary seal, 
and everything about it is in there. Um, user manual, which goes over a lot of the information, specs, how to break the tank down. It has a whole lot of pieces involved in this thing. So set that off right here at the top. And here's the tank and how it comes. Okay, you got your tank, your glass, your spare glass, and then each individual airflow adjustment. So on the airflow adjustments, let's go ahead and bring it up. See if that'll focus for us. Let's bring it back to manual focus. Maybe it's just too shiny for this camera to pick it up. All right, so you got a one. A 1.2, 1.5, and a 1.8, and they're actually engraved or stamped on each airflow disc. Okay, so basically, you pop one of these out, and it replaces the piece on the inside, and this is what it looks like. Okay, it's really tiny. Okay, zoom back out some. It's really tiny, has an O-ring, and it's really nice. I've never used any of the airflow slots. I used mine wide open, and I will show you why in just a second. So, with this inside the tank, you pull the tank out, you pop the bottom, which is never fun because they make sure this stuff is in, and your little piece is going to pop out where your glass goes which then gives you easier access to then take your glass out if you needed your spare section they have from what i understand released a larger capacity i think this holds only two mils right now now they have a tank section that brings it to 3.5 mils um, you're going to get extra post screws their typical sticker and their o-ring chart so you're going to get all the basics now particularly with mine i also picked up a spare replayer kit just in case you never know especially here in the philippines so i have that as well um so i'll put my sticker back i'll throw those screws back I'll put my centerpiece back in or the main holder for the tray set all this back down Set that back in, close this up, put it back in the package, grab the deck, and I'll show you this. So, the way to do the deck is there is a arrow. I don't know if this is picking up. Let's see. Okay. You see the arrow right here. And what you do is you twist your deck until you get to the next arrow. As you see, there's an arrow built on the inside. Now you wiggle it and pop it free. Now on mine, this hasn't been used, it's been cleaned, but you now have your tank section, your deck, your airflow control ring, and a two post deck okay so as you can see I actually have a build still in it trying it out it's a two and a half mil wide open airflow um, grab a screwdriver to do this um, let me fix this coil because it's one I'm gonna use And I just pull my coil up because I want to get that airflow around it. And that's what I found best for this. Um, 
You can build it either way, belly up, belly down. Like I can take this coil and flip it around with no problems at all. Okay. So none whatsoever do you have an issue with having your coils flipped or anything. Okay. Oh, camera fell. All right. There we go. All right. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is slide my coil jig in. I'm going to undo this. The post screws. I'll take one out. Just to show you. Okay. So. Right there is the coil that I'm using right now. Okay. Very fine fuse Clapton. 32 gauge by 38 gauge. With a lot of wraps. Alright. So the sections that you saw inside of the kit. Where the different air flows are. Let's get that manual out of the way. For these inserts, you take one of these inserts and you literally just set it inside of that hole. That will start reducing your airflow down to make it to come into more of a mouth to lung. Um, it's a simplistic deck to build on. It's two posts, two screws. You know, it's really easy. They have good notches on it. You know, and I tend to like to clean mine back up after I pull everything out. Um, reason being is I just take care of my stuff. Um, plus, this hasn't been used in so long. It's just been sitting since I got it in, what, September? Um, but... The screws come out, they're very, very, very easy. Even with my fingers, I can take them out, no problems. Um, I've tried several different juices in here, and I'll go over my views later. But then we come to the top section of this cap. Okay, let's bring it out some. On the top section, you're going to have the same thing. As you see, the arrow, and then there's a dot sitting right here on the glass. You're going to have to bring this over to that but I have a tendency to feel like it's not going to work for me today let's so let's do it the other way so let's go ahead and turn this and this is one thing I don't like about this tank is that if you try to do it one way it only allows you one so now as you can see I've got the airflow or the top cap lined up with that you see that little teeny dot underneath the arrow right there and what that does is it converts it into a top fill tank okay so you have two large ports that you can fill your juice in that fills in the cavity now one thing I tell people remember is to close this off close your airflow off before you fill otherwise you're gonna dump juice out to put it back on, same way. Line the two marks up, twist it back some, now it's locked and that won't come off. So, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you something. Okay, so we take the top cap off. All right, so inside of this top cap as you can see this is where the drip tip is you can actually hold down and turn this and take their drip tip out of this okay now one thing and then you do is you just push it out and it pops out the holder for it <clears throat> and what happens is when you hold it in there the diaphragm on the inside where it seals it right here this piece in here it'll slip underneath that it actually holds that black piece in so this is their drip tip 
pretty decent sized bore. Then we're going to break down the tank. All right, so O-ring on that part, glass section, O-ring, and then this is where the fun comes in. So right here on the inside, you can see right here, a threaded piece like a top cap, but there's a square in there. Well, you can try to use a screwdriver, but most of the time a screwdriver won't work because you need a big one. So what I do is I grab a pair of basic scissors like this. I take it like this, put it in, and I spin it. Once I start to spin it, then I can do it by hand. This is a reducer for the tank. This actually drops your airflow. Then what you do is underneath, this is the piece that it is catching onto. So this sits on the inside, this sits on the outside on that top section, and they screw down together, reducing your chamber more and then also your airflow as well. But let me show you something. So on here, I'm just going to grab a 510 that I've got setting around. On here, let's get the top cap. You can put a 510 in, but the problem is it's extremely loose. Okay. You can try another 510 to say, okay, I want my own 510. If it's a single O-ring, it's definitely going to be much looser. If it doesn't fit flush in like this one actually does, it's not that good. Let's try another one. See, 510, and i got all this movement. And that's a single O-ring. I suppose I have another one I found out. But irregardless dual ring it has to be fatter and fit just right but you still get a lot of movement unlike their drip tip so that's one thing that you know kind of set me aside at saying you know how are you going to make a 510 but your machining is so far off that you know my tip wobbles and wibbles so every time i try to take a hit i don't know which way my tip's going to sit you see how easy that is to move just with your finger i mean it should be secured and this is as far as it goes. Like, there's nothing in here to stop it from moving. Nothing. Okay? So, with that, you know, you can't say, oh, put your tank together. Because even if I put the top section on, here, I'll do it for you. It still does the same thing. Okay? It still wobbles and moves and jiggles and wiggles and everything else so you know and then you can thread on your cap pop it back off so yeah you have the ability to use a 510 of your own but it's not going to function very well you're going to you're, you're pretty much stuck with using their 510 unless you don't mind using it but this is one major thing i like to show people is this this actually opens it up to have a lot more airflow inside than what people realize overall, okay? And you can see the hole that's there versus now the opening that's there now on the inside. So if you were to take your tank, come here. Put your O-ring back in. I usually just set the O-ring on top, you know, because the top cap's going to seal it anyway. Put the top cap on, screw it down. Now, you can see the airflow is pretty wide, but it's still very reduced inside, very well machined. From when I when I got this, from the time I got it, like they stand up to their name, machining, no no issues with machining, no issues with anything at all. 
you know, I had no issues with that whatsoever. Uh, my issue with this was always flavor. I cannot for the life of me get something unless it's something very strong like a tobacco flavor, um, which is what I'm going to throw in here. All I'm doing is starting to post group. And that is, as one thing as you notice, and I want to point this out, is that this has some very large, that's where, where am I going? There I am. This has some very large walls for your coil not to move. So, Phillips screws, very easy to get started, no issues. Bring the coil back. This time I'm going to set it down and I'm going to start with one way as I throw everything, tighten it down, come back up because it likes to kick out the coil. I'm using a fine Clapton. So one thing I learned is that with the fine Clapton, I cannot really get that mad because I have chosen this option to deal with, you know, um, to deal with what I'm going to lose or having to fight a little bit more compared to, say, the standard coil that most people will use. There's that. So I see what it did. It pulled out. So let's twist it back. Right. There it is. There. Now it's connected. Now all I have to do is with the cutouts right here is push it down and bring it up a little bit and twist the coil. So, there we go. Now I got the coil set. I'll bring it up just a little bit for some better airflow to come underneath. And as far as wicking this, it's rather easy. Um, I'm not going to lie, just fill it in. When you fill this in, the cotton will just set inside of this well. You want the juice to come into the side ports, the holes right here, which are very small wicking ports. That's one thing you're also going to notice. Small wick ports, big juice wells, and if you put too much cotton inside of here, it's going to cause a problem. If you put too little cotton in here, well it's not going to take very well. So let's slide some cotton in. You know, and then I'm gonna fluff mine out some because of what I'm using. You know, cause this does not swell. I'm using uh, Malvation X. Um, which I really, really like. Um, my number two would be Cotton Bacon Prime. And then, of course, my final would be TVC. Or not TVC. Um, TFC. Which is sold here in the Philippines. Um, which is titanium fiber cotton. And it's, it's a similarity to... Um, 
Cotton Bacon Prime. Very similar in structure. Comes in a roll though, like Malvation does, but has very good absor absorption rate, very light break in time, and not had really any issues with it. So, as you see, just lightly just plop it in some small areas just to get wicking done because I still got a little bit cut off so with this come in cut it let that drop throw that away and then you see it you can kind of gauge where you're gonna fold it into it you know and I just use my tweezers and fill that hole you want to make sure that the hole is pretty much filled all the way through. If not, and you leave a hole inside, well, guess what's going to happen? It's going to flood. So when I see that, I can pull this back some. Still making sure that my hole is completely covered. But I bring it back a little bit. And what I'm looking for is basically where the cotton, if you look right here, is just barely sitting there so that means I have a good wicking well so now I'll come over here cut this cotton off cut it rather short you know do the same thing bring it up flip it in and fill my well and then just push it up some just so I can have that wicking so there's that. Let's go grab some juice. And I'm gonna use a local branded juice. That's amazing. So today we are going to be running Platinum Reserve by Indulge. Local made by one of our famous guys here. Amazing. You have many options all the way up to 48 milligrams and you can go free base or salt nicotine in this stuff. All right, this is called Platinum Reserve because it is a version of like buying VCT from the States without having to, you know, get it from there. And this has also been saturated into an oak barrel. So therefore, it's got a little bit more of a robust flavor to it than standard uh, Platinum. Put some cotton inside the wicking hole, see how it wicks. This up is a pain sometimes I want to wick, but once she starts wicking, as that one just did right there, it will just suck it up like there's no tomorrow. Okay, so you can put a drop of one, and you see that it just takes it like no tomorrow. This side is now doing the same thing as you see it's pulling it's pulling that juice right into it so that means that's good now I'll just get the coil saturated just a little bit grab my burner device see I do not have a ohm, ohm reader um, all mine always break I've been doing this long enough most of the time that I don't worry about it um, I know my amps are within their limits and thresholds, especially when you see my builds. Um, I don't generally build below uh, 1 ohm coils, and I'm using Nichrome 80 as my main material. So, with that, you can see it fires up pretty good. It's pulling it in. I want to make sure the juice sits inside. Okay, I do not use that insert because I don't need it, but I will use their drip tip. So, while we're waiting for that, we'll go ahead and take this, and I'll show you how to put it back together. So, what I do is I slip it underneath just like that and slip it on top. People love messaging me first thing in the morning. So here it is. You just slip it right back on top. 
and you twist your uh, your drip tip in as soon as it comes in just hold it down it'll it'll tighten in you see it's really loose right now um, and that's mostly because it didn't get underneath the membrane so let's go ahead and get that fixed pull that up and then right there we go there just set it right back over top of it and just use the back end of a set of tweezers you know you can just use a set of tweezers and just push it back in and it'll help lock it back over so that it knows that hey you know this is where it goes this is what it is so here we are okay today is being a pain in the butt to get the membrane to go back down there we go alright there you go there we go so everything's in it's acting a little loose so let me try it the other way So there you go, welcome back. So that was the Adamazoo Tripod RTA. I got it right that time. Gotta love my bill of boxes. Oh, got three of them, about to have four. Um, great time, great days. In this particular one, I'm vaping on <coughs> Jam Monster Blueberry. Um, love it. The flavor that I'm using right now and my coil build, which in this, the coil is ohming out at a 1.37 at 19.2 watts. What a tiny ass whistle tip that I thought were going to be bigger. And I paid way too much money for them here. It's okay. Live and learn. Alright, so that's not what we're here for. We're here for this one right here. Here it is. Okay, tripod RDA. Let it set in there. Firing up, no problem, at 19.5 watts, 5.3 volts, 3.7 amps on a 1.39. See, wide open, airflow, and um, very quiet. Amazingly done, okay, and I'll give them that. I'll give them the airflow. Very well done. I'll give them the fact that you can take out the reducer, okay? I'll give them, you can put different inserts in to bring your, your vape style in and then adjust the airflow to make it even tighter if you want to. 
Deck is easy to build on, very, very easy. Um, very simplistic, round wire or a clapton. And you can use a larger clapton in this. I'm running a two and a half mil coil on it just because of how small the chamber is inside and to get that airflow um, I've tried my coils both up and down belly up belly down um, right now it's belly up I think or it might be belly down um, oh here's a nice thing turn cut your juice off all you have to do not cut your juice off but turn it until you find your arrow flip it upside down and pop it so my coil right now it is belly up okay 19 watts set it back on just twist until you feel it lock and turn it and then boom and I'm back bubbling again on both sides getting air or getting juice flow now I've tried this with <coughs> custard shop custard reserve I get good fl decent flavor decent not good not great but decent I've tried it with barbarian cream from hit that donut I get pretty good flavor and it's a sweet flavor I've tried it with the one strawberry it did not taste right I've tried it with Jan monster blueberry couldn't get the flavor no matter what I did and I know it's not my coils or my cotton um, I've tried it with um, what's on my shelf uh, King's Crest Platinum Reserve didn't do good try it with Prohibition it did good for about a few hours and then gunked up the coil instantly that's how tight this chamber is this chamber holds so much heat inside of it you don't feel the heat here but you do feel the, the heat that stays inside so therefore it cooks everything on the coil so if you're running a sweet juice you're gonna be changing cotton quite often I'm, I know what this is supposed to taste like, which is the Platinum Reserve. I've gotten this plenty of times from the maker. Um, Ronald De La Cruz, thank you so much, sir, um, for the bottle of juice. Um, so the tripod was bought for me for the review. Bottle of juice provided by Ronald De La Cruz. Um, he makes an amazing line. Um, for a lot of us here, especially with the band, we can't get imported juices in. He has went out and made his own line. You know, it's been around for a little bit, but he makes a line that's pretty much similar to Jam Monster, Strawberry and Blueberry. Um, he's been working on trying to getting a, the peanut butter version going, um, but it's been, it's it's very finicky and he's trying. Um, most people say, oh, it's a knockoff of another company. Well, you know what, juice is juicers. Juices are another juice that has the same flavor, you know, and for us, we gotta do what we gotta do. You know, and right now that's what I'm doing. Um, and the tripod just not not impressed me not at all um, I mean I get decent flavor <clears throat> I'm not getting that sweet taste of that vanilla custard that's supposed to be sweet inside of it I'm getting some of the vanilla custard so it's a light tone of vanilla then I'm getting a little bit more of the tobacco and I'm getting a real strong oak taste to it. So I'm getting more of an oak taste to it. And to me, when I vape it on other things, other tanks, such as the Reaper V3, the Integra, um, uh, the Hurricane V2, uh, what else I've got? Um, those are the main one, ones I used. Um, and then if I drip it, say, on a goon with low airflow slot, it actually gives me better flavor okay I've actually put it in a billet box on one of the bridges I had and tried it and the flavor was amazing it it was all there like I got a really nice sweet vanilla custard taste I got a hint of tobacco which is what I like I don't want overpowering and then I got an amazing you know slight oak taste I had that little deeper richer you know taste to it so, um, the tank hasn't been used. This is probably the second, like, the I had it for a week. I used it, tried it with three builds. 
um, three different ways, same wires, um, different ohm ratings all the way up to 1.8, down to 1.4, down to now 1.39, so it's still almost 1.4, but no, 1.6, 1.8, and now it's at about uh, almost a 1.4. If I recalculate it, it'd probably be around a 1.4. Let's, let's, matter of fact, let's check it out. Settings, boom. Yeah, 1.439. I don't use um, boost or punch. I don't like it. it. Gives a burn taste to it. 19 and a half watts only. Even if I bump the power, let's go to 22 watts. That was it converting over. I forgot to hit OK. So the fire button automatically will click it to OK and then you have the fire again. Same thing. The more power I give it, the more of the darker taste and notes I get out of it. Um, so going down, let's bring it down to 15 watts. nothing changes and that's what I'm not satisfied with no matter where I put this um, it does not want to sit where it needs to 19.5 I get a little bit more flavor to it but that's about it so cons on the tank one it's it's a pain to try to turn the top cap off it's very very difficult that silicone seal is an amazing idea. It, it does great wonders. It seals it. It doesn't leak from the top cap. I've never had it leak. If you wick it right like I have, um, it doesn't give you any problems. Um, if you put too little cotton in there, it'll leak, obviously. That's typical. Um, the thing I don't like is the movement on it, the back and forth. The machining is not perfect. It's not set there so it's locked all the way down so that way when you put it on you know it's completely sealed. So it, to me it's as if it's not sealing and as you see that big air bubble coming up, a lot of times that big air bubble will not allow you to get all your juice to come out and it, it just doesn't take all the juice from it. Um, you can burn through the juice pretty quick though. So same build use it for a week solid okay and um, never had it leak on me except for around the edges you'll see seepage come around these edges sometimes um, nothing from the top cap um, airflow adjustment ring can be is a bit stiff depending on the mod that it's on and I've got it tightened down and if you try to tighten it down from the barrel, it will not loosen the barrel. If you try to turn your top cap, it will loosen the barrel. So, I mean, there's a lot of things in here. They, they try to make it tight tolerances, but where they put those tolerances were not very smart. Um, I would rather have seen something a little bit better. Um, the fact that you can't really use your own 510 on here, that's another con. The only pro is it came in without any scratches, burrs, burrs, cowboy boots, whatever you want to call it, like everybody else says. But... Um, overall opinion on it, I'm not a fan of it. A lot of people like it. Um, so, you know, I love the vape shell. I use it all the time. Um, I get flavor from that for everything I put in it. Oh, and I've tried blueberry cake from, you know, basics, glass basics. I've tried the, um, reserve, reserve one, whatever it's called from basics as well in this. Same thing, butterscotch reserve. Um, I'm not getting the butterscotch flavors out of it. I'm getting more of the tobacco flavors. This is more of a rich flavor tank. Um, this is probably going to be more on the long lines, in my opinion, at the end of the day, for really a mouth to lung person. Someone who is into like tobacco flavors or something like that, because even wide open, no matter what I do to it, I can't get that perfect flavor. Um, that I get from my other tanks or my billet boxes, you know, um, from, you know, I've tried the clones of the Zeta, no knockoff guys, I, I'm not a clone person, but you gotta remember we're on a ban right now, 
Um, trust me, I want a real one, but I can't get a hold of one. Um, Expo set, damn near impossible to get a hold of one. And also on the band, I can't import anything in to buy it online. <clears throat> it all gets stopped inside of customs. They're withholding it illegally right now. So they're fighting it right now and trying to bring a, what they call a syntax in. And the syntax is what they're trying to do, regulation versus banning. Um, but with that, I have to wait, you know, to see what happens. So what's here is here, basically. So... I mean, same thing. I mean, this cotton pretty much breaks in pretty much instantly. Um, and I never have a problem with anything I wicked on, so I know it's not that. You know, I could throw a wick right now inside of my black billet box with a vape shell in it, which is a real vape shell, obviously. And I'll get better notes and flavors off of it with this. I'm just being honest. And it's just as tight, if not tighter, than what this is. And I even have, you know, different plugs for it. So with that, that's my views, my thoughts. It, I mean, if you like tanks that are more from out the lung, get yourself the tripod. If you like, you know, certain other flavors, maybe some other flavors that are not pastry or better for it. I don't know. I don't vape, you know, mo you know fruits or menthols or anything like that. So, um... I've got the Platinum Reserve, and I like it. Um, <clears throat> it's about one of the only ones I do vape, besides the Butterscotch Reserve. Um, other than that, that's really it. It's well presented, well present, good presentation. Um, as far as machining and stuff itself, it's all perfectly there. Screws, everything, okay? The only thing I wish they did was include a tool to take out the insert so you're not using something that you could possibly gouge or scratch this thing up with you know um the more you reduce it the deeper the flavor it gets and when you're already having a deep flavor that you're not really caring for well that's what you get so that's it for me today i hope you enjoy the review and i'll see you on the next one which will probably be uh, the Integra, I think, is what I'm going to do next. Um, it's been a while, Christmas, holidays, things going on, and a lot going on in life. So, until next time, I'll catch you later.